Last time on this shit. I rolled Felador, which meant I had to get 99 mining and 89 crafting. Then I acquired full prospector and expert mining gloves, and after that I also found a little friend. And now on this time of extreme one chunk Iron Man. Hello everybody, welcome back, and let's just jump right into it. Uh, after Mother Load Mine, I had a lot of Mithril and uh, Rune and Adamant that I can't actually smelt because I don't have enough coal. So I'm gonna mine 50k coal, that should be enough. Uh, and this will end the chronic shortage of coal I have on this account. I never have enough coal. It's just really hard for me to get. And with this mining guild, it actually gives me a perfect opportunity to take a break from Amethyst and get some coal. And... There it is, 96 mining. Uh, these expert mining gloves are actually awesome for mining coal. They have a chance of not depleting the rock, so that's awesome. I can stay at the same rock for longer. Also, I'm almost halfway done with coal, uh, because this is really fast. Oh my god. Sea Engineer. The first crossover episode of the account. Oh, never mind. He can't handle my raw arts energy. Here we go. Go, 97. Oh my god, almost 99. Uh, also, I'm uh, almost done. Just a few K more coal, and then I'm going back to Amethyst. This should be it. Look at it. Oh, 50k coal. It's beautiful. Well, now I have enough coal to smelt all my raw ores. Good. Um, and now we can work on the stack of amethyst again. Let's get to it. Here we go, come on. Mine it, yes. 98, one more level. So over 8k amethyst mine, that should be worth a lot. Uh, but I wanna buy some packs of gems with these uh, minerals uh, because I wanna do some crafting real fast. So let's actually see what we can get with these. Okay, good haul. Gonna cut all these and craft them. But first I need to smelt all this gold because I'm gonna get more gems later. And I wanna be able to make it into jewelry. And bada bing bada boom. Almost 10k gold bars. Good, good, good. I'm gonna make the emeralds into binding necklaces for when I get the uh, 99 room crafting chunk. And the rest are all gonna be amulets because I don't really need them and they give the most XP. And I'm even gonna string the amulets because I'm that desperate for craft XP. And all the gems have been cut, gave me some good XP. And let's get to making them into amulets. And here we go, 86. Three more levels and then I'm 89 craft and I can make the amethyst bolt tips. After processing everything, I ended up with 300k craft XP. I need every XP I can get because crafting is a very hard skill for me to train right now. But before we continue, this video is sponsored by Factor. Factor is a meal delivery service that provides fresh, healthy and delicious meals right to your house. And you know, no prep means no mess. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in minutes. Which takes the guesswork out of what you want to make for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Factor even offers meals for those looking to follow keto, low calorie or vegan and vegetarian lifestyles. Factor helps you avoid fast food and ordering in, with no-nonsense, delicious foods that ready quickly. With Factor's chef-prepared meals, you always know you're eating well, so you never have to opt for something that isn't good for you. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in 2 minutes or less. And their meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 27 plus meal options. And over 33 add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts and more. And if you're like me and you're not a real whiz in the kitchen, well then Factor can actually help you eat some delicious healthy meals. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGLIMPJUL50 for 50% off your first box. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. And it also really helps out my channel. I've decided I'm gonna mine star still 99 because I still need to get the full golden prospector. I've only got two pieces right now. And I can use the rest of the stardust to actually buy gem bags. Uh, they're a lot cheaper in the stardust shop so that's good uh, but that means i'll have to find these stars which is really hard because even though i have a lot more spots than last time it's still a big competition to get to them 
a lot of people are also hunting stars so it's gonna be tough but i'm gonna manage then k stardust and this should be 15k momentarily competition is high but sometimes i can find a star that nobody has touched yet and i can mine it solo and here we go 15k stardust uh, i'll see you when i get 30k 30k getting close to level 99 so i want to see how much stardust i can get probably over 10k so we'll end up at 40k i think uh, and the last level i'm gonna do in the mining guild with a whole bunch of people as is tradition on the account Okay, here we are, uh, overshot 40k a little, but that doesn't matter. That just means more bags of gems for me. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna turn these in to complete Golden Prospector and get a lot of gem bags for crafting, of course. Crafting is really important. Here we are in the store. Give me those fragments. Uh, careful not to buy 50 or something. Here we go. Now I com can complete my set. There we go, the boots. Yes. Oh man, it's gonna look good. Let's put that on, look at it. Yeah, awesome. So we can cross that off the list and let's buy a lot of gem bags. 36k left, that is a lot. Well, I didn't get an onyx as expected, but uh, a lot of other gems, especially the dragon stones are looking very nice. Now let's cut these gems. There we are looking good. Uh, how much XP did that give me? Almost enough for 87. 320k XP just from cutting. Not bad. 87 crafting, very nice. Dorgashon light orb and amethyst javelin heads. Gonna make javelin heads later. Um, when I need that last bit of crafting XP, the light orbs I can't do yet until I get a glass blowing pipe. But unfortunately, there are not many sources for those. So everything has been processed, not that much gold left, uh, but I'm almost 88. And look at all this stuff I've made and strung. A lot of amulets looking amazing. But I'm also gonna enchant them right now because that will look better in my bank and will save some space. Look what I just found on a farm run. Come on, come on. And yes. Glory, so it's actually pretty good. Nice elk for later. Looking good, everything has been enchanted and that will save some time when I finally roll the dreaded runecrafting chunk, which is uh, getting more and more likely as time goes by. In other news, I've also realized yet again that I'm a fucking dumbass because I can make molten glass for crafting XP. Which I totally forgot that gives 20 crafting XP per molten glass. So gonna make some soda ash from seaweed and after that and after that I can make a lot of molten glass which should really boost the XP that last bit. But ah it's so stupid, I totally forgot I could do this. Uh, it's gonna save a ton of amethyst. Alright, Soda Ash is done. Good, let's go make some Molten Glass. Oh, looking good. 20 XP per Molten Glass. Got the sand from KQ and the seaweed from Temporos. And I can make Molten Glass with it. Uh, can't do anything with the Molten Glass yet, but still. And here we go. 88. One more level to go. I can almost make the Amethyst Ball tip. And after that, just get the 99 Mining Cape. And we're out of this chunk. And rolling again. Okay, so I'm out of sand. Can't make molten glass anymore. But I'm able to make amethyst emet javelin heads. Which are very valuable. So that's good. But I didn't want to process all my amethyst. So that's why I went for all the gems and stuff. And the molten glass. But as you can see, it's good XP. Shouldn't take too long to get to 89. 89. Good, good, good. We can finally... Oh, look at the stats. Uh, sea Knight Rings, uh, that's a while off, but the Amethyst Dart Tip isn't. Let's make it actually. Here we go. Okay, we can cross that off the list. And yeah, look at the bank. Uh, got 4,000 left. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's price check this actually. How much is this worth? 
25 mil look at that uh, that might be handy in the future and now it's finally time for the long awaited 99 mining and the end of this chunk so here i am getting 99 mining it was a little crowded here but uh good fun a lot of people coming out in support and yeah there we are should be it yes 99 mining oh my god uh took uh no that didn't took really a long time but long enough so we can finally get the mining cape and after that of course roll a new chunk and here we are buying the skill cape 99 yes and now it is officially mining cape season instead of hit point cape season okay so with that all being said let's go to the long awaited chunk roll so we're all pretty familiar with the chunk map right now but let me quickly go through it uh, we want number one right now uh, the farming patch chunk because it gives really good xp for when i get the farming cape in drainer number two we don't want because that would put me straight next to drainer without any new patches number three has a lot of patches so we want that number four is actually a death chunk because i will have to get 99 construction without a saw using only backed plants which will take a lot of time number five we don't want because it will put us next to the monastery Number six actually won't put us next to the monastery because there's no way to get from six to the monastery. So that's all right. Seven is all right, cook scaled. Eight is a death chunk, the dreaded room crafting cape chunk, which will be extremely difficult for me to complete. We actually want number nine because we want to get the lumber yard because having access to planks and a saw makes number four no actual death chunk anymore, just a little bit of a construction grind. Uh, for the rest, there's a lot of desert chunks that are not very interesting. Can't get into Sofanum or Tombs of Amasket. So desert chunks are really neutral right now. Doesn't really matter and we'll keep on rolling if we get them. But without further ado, let's go back to Life World and to the chunk rolling. Oh, my heart is pounding. Click the button. <laughs> okay. I will click the button. Three, two, one. Uh, yeah, that's not good. The... That's not good. That's not good. I'm right next to the farming cave. Oh, fuck. Uh, if, if I roll this one, it's a two-year grind at least. Shit. And with that scary thought in mind, we opened the chunk and went in. There actually is a Slayer Master called Spria in here, which is fairly new. But I can't access it uh, until I start a quest, which is in Draenor. And I can't get to Draenor yet. Another funny thing about this chunk is that I can now enter Draenor. Uh, before these trees were in the way, but now I can walk around and actually enter the manor. But uh, I can also now start Ernest the Chicken. Which is a good quest because it gives a lot of quest points and with quest points I can maybe someday enter the Champions Guild and do Champion Scrolls which should be a lot of fun. During this quest I also planted some Belladonna. Uh, strictly speaking I had to wait till it was fully grown. But after this we went straight for the roll anyway because it was just an arbitrary wait time which was quite annoying in a stream. And here we are. Ernest Chicken complete, four quest points. That is a lot, a lot of, lot of quest points. Awesome. I can also enter the Killer World plane right now, but uh, I don't have insulated boots or the slay Slayer level or a way to train Slayer or get insulated boots. So I'll have to do that uh, another time. That goes on the backlog. And here goes the last task I have to do in this chunk. Make an element plate body. And yeah, after this we were done in the chunk and we would go for another chunk roll. But before I rolled the chunk, chat actually made me realize something, what the day was. Because the day of this chunk rolling was the 6th of June, 2023. An infamous date that everybody will of course instantly recognize. This day, brave, brave men gave their lives so that we can live in freedom. 
I am of course talking about the Valador Massacre. And of course, this was not a good omen, but we'll see what happens in the actual chunk roll. And we're back on the chunk map, and of course, I am now directly next to the farming cape chunk, and I don't have a lot of patches, so if I roll it, it'll, it'll take at least two years to complete it, which is not ideal, but I'm passing the mic to LiveWord for the actual chunk roll. Limpert is deciding where he'll spend the next months of his life. Okay, four, three, two, one. Oh. 99 construction without a saw. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking bad. Oh my god. It's so fucking bad. And so he went to Velador, unlocked the chunk, and started listing off the requirements. Of course, getting 99 construction without a saw, having a mole pet from the giant mole, and 70 prayer to get a crest from Serenity. And at some point I have to equip full white armor, but as of right now I'm not able to do that yet. But of course the big requirement of those is 99 construction, because how the hell am I gonna do that? I can't get a saw from anywhere, I can't buy it from the lumberyard, there's no spawn for it. I can't get it from a tool store in a POH, because of course you need a saw to build that furniture. So the only way is to get over 400 million gold and buy backed plants from the garden supplier in Velador Park and then plant <laughs> plant a lot a lot a lot of backed plants in your house and it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be rough uh, but there is one upside for this chunk uh, which is that not only do backed plants give construction XP but also farming XP so I'm gonna call it, if I complete this chunk, farming is no longer a death chunk. Uh, we've eliminated the death chunk by doing a death chunk. That is the one saving grace of this chunk, but this is gonna be fucking rough, man. I don't, as of right now, I don't know how to do it. I have no clue. Um, so that's what we're gonna, gonna find out in the next video. How am I gonna get 400 mil on an extremely restricted Iron Man. Maybe Agility Pyramid, maybe Amethyst, maybe Mining Rune Elking it. I don't know yet. Let's see in the next episode. That's it for today, but I still have a special shout out to aka Roommate, Poggies, the Codotlar, LP Kellner, Tyler Contrino, the Akbars, Vapor, Atlas K, UIM Evan, Lepanokolo He. Andros, Adrian Winterrunner, Snockball1, Spirit, Unsliced, Highclass Lowlife465, Dantilly, Loxins, Dynamite, Epic Duck, Penguin Meat, Blomkol, Jern Scullen, Drake Olsen, Hakurai Rimu, J Balls, Kurenai, Cam T, Sam, X2 Light, JVH92, Cardo Sivadi, Charles Kelman, Apex Eternals, Renek, Ipsnius, Brendan Nielsen, Kalis, Iron Wire, Sheep, Jonathan Dukanen, Reesbender, Zerno, Sidestar, Bashti, Yami Soba, Josh Nador, August Whitley, Slick Zero, Godro, Sifu, Dakota Chang, Rebby Shekelstein, Patriotic Skull, Mitchell Chamberlain, Large Mocha, and Z equals Z. As well as the other channel members you can see on screen right now. Have a good one and thank you all for the support.